Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I am gonna quickly compare the two uh, very affordable, budget-friendly mocha pots available uh, on Amazon or probably somewhere in your local supermarket as well. And uh, as you can see on the right side is the Primula 6-cup uh, mocha coffee maker. And uh, on the left is the 12-cup coffee maker, also from the brand called Primula or Primula or Primula, whatever you call it. Um, I originally bought this one not long ago and uh, I started using that. And since right now I just moved to New York area and I'm living with my friends, um, they also want to try, you know, the, the coffee that's made from the mocha pot in the morning. So this one unfortunately only makes probably one regular cup of coffee and uh, so I was looking at alternative options of getting a bigger mocha pot and uh, I'm glad I did which they also have the 12 cup option available over here which as you can see in comparison um, it's twice the size of the original six cup uh, mocha pot from uh, Primula and uh, this one is about $14 and this one I think is about $35. Um, I'll actually post the link down in the description so you guys can get uh, one of the correct size if you have a specific need. Um, in terms of performance, the the larger 12 cup is uh, takes about twice as long to boil um, twice as much coffee. Uh, the small pot, when I put it on the, the electric wrench, um, it takes about four minutes and a half from a cold cup of water to fully boiled and ready to go. And the large 12 cup takes about, um, I think, a little, a little more than eight minutes. So eight minutes and a half maybe to boil a twice as much of the coffee. So um, I'm going to open up both of those so you guys can take a look. So in reality, they are exactly the same. Everything airs. Everything is the same. The only difference is the actual size of each components. They are literally twice as, you know, the big one is twice as big as a small one. And uh, this is a porta filter where you put the ground coffee in. And uh, the interesting thing is the, the diameter of the sprout on the bottom is um, actually the same, but the size looks slightly different. Um, not sure if it's going to show up in the video, but the size is slightly different, but the diameter is the same, okay? Um, and of course, the boiling compartment, let you guys take a look, again, exactly the same. There is no difference. Um, basically, you fill the water up to the level of the safety valve, and you put the potter filter in, and then you put the top part you know, screw it in nicely on the portafilter, filter and then you start boiling with the coffee inside, of course. So uh, the top part is where you retain the coffee. So this is when the sprout, the sprout, when the steam comes up, uh, pushes the coffee and the coffee comes out from here and then it's going to fill the cup really nicely. So again, the two is exactly the same. The only difference is size. Okay. Um, Actually, I, I personally like this uh, this design, the traditional design. I think it's a mimicking of the the, the original brand from Italy, uh, Barilletta or something like that. Um, but this is much, much cheaper. So um, half the price of the original um, Italian mocha pot. And uh, as you can see on the small pot, my friend already broke the handle. So quick tip is you really need to monitor the boiling time. So set a timer. Once you start your boiling, set the timer to four minutes on, um, on the range. I use my like close to medium high setting. It's about four minutes for me, but it could be different on your range and it could be very different on the gas stove. Okay. So make sure you set a timer, get the exact same time. So you don't overboil. when it overboils, it really heats up the, the entire pan. Um, and the plastic handle actually just literally melted when my friend left the thing on the 
on this stove and overboil for like I think 10 minutes or so and the handle just literally fall off okay I mean you can still use it um, it's just slightly less convenient without the handle so what I what I do without the handle is I just use I just wet my um, kitchen towel and then I just grab this part when it's boiled and then just pour regularly you know um, from from the entire assembly so when you finish boiling I'll show you really quick it's a slight inconvenience and uh, but it's, it's always nice to have the plastic handle, of course. So you can still just hold it like that, but be really, really careful. You don't want to burn yourself, okay? So that's basically, that's basically how you make the mocha uh, coffee and uh, how you serve it. And again, the larger pot, the 12 cup, the only difference is you can make two cups of the coffee instead of just one cup, okay? And obviously you also need to use twice as much coffee um, in this uh, portal filter compared to the six cup six cup variant and that's pretty much it um, if you guys have any questions about uh, both of if you guys have any questions about both of those um, uh, mocha pots uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below otherwise um, I hope that uh, answers some of your questions so um, is there a difference in the taste of the coffee absolutely not both makes the exact same tasting uh, coffee okay uh, I know some people call this espresso maker but in reality it's not an espresso maker to make espresso you really need the high pressure from a real espresso machine this makes something in between a espresso and a regular drip coffee traditional American drip coffee because this actually gives the coffee a bolder taste compared to the drip coffee that you get from you know the the filtered coffee uh, from those uh, drip coffee uh, machines like the Mr. Coffee or, or you know brands like that um, so this is really an in-between and really I think it's it's the easiest way to make a quick cup of coffee in the morning of course you can also go French press which we also have over here I personally don't really like French press because I think it just makes a messy cup of coffee and there is just too much grounds in the coffee once you press it in and you know you pour the coffee out too much grounds left with the espresso oh not the espresso with the mocha pot you make a really nice coffee there are still some fine grounds left but those grounds actually doesn't bother as much as the um the more coarse grounds from the french press okay so this is really my least favorite way of making coffee but this is also probably slightly faster than the mocha pot okay so there are you know gains uh, and pros and cons on each of those different kinds of methods but uh, in my opinion the mocha pot is really the best way of making a good tasting cup of coffee okay uh, thank you so much guys for watching uh, make sure you like the video if you found this video helpful otherwise um, ask me any questions in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer those questions for you guys so thank you so much again and uh, see you in my next video take care